Tammy Reese here, head coach of the University of Rhode Island, and I'm here at A10 Media Day at the beautiful new facility, Henrico Sports Arena. We ready to pop this season off, and I'm here with my main man, the guys with the plan, man. Take care of A10 Women's Basketball. Legacy Maker Sports Network. Let's go. We'll be seeing you all season. Let's get it done, and we win in that championship, baby. What's going on, everybody? It's Lamont Thomas, Legacy Maker Sports Network. We are here at uh, 810 Women's Basketball Hoops Media Day. Um, I have Rhode Island in the building. Um, Coach Tammy Reese, um, well, we'll start with you. Uh, right. How's everything going? What are you feeling about this year, and, and how are you feeling right now about the team? Well, first, Lamont, thanks for, for having us. It's a pleasure to be here, and um, I couldn't be any more excited with this team. We, we have our, all our post players returning. The core is back. We're big. We're fast. And then we, we got way more athletic at the guard spot. So I, I got a little bit more guards that can wiggle. And I call the wiggle. Okay. You can create off the bounce. You can take anyone, and you create for other people. And so this team, is. I finally have the team that represents really how I want to play. Okay. Um, and I couldn't be any more excited for this year. It's a different look, Rhode Island team. Okay. You would not have seen a team like this yet. All right, and you guys have been picked to be the favorite, so I'm going to double back on that to double team you, no pun intended. No pun intended. Uh, that's right, I, I do my homework here, that's right. <laughs> no, but um, we just want to ask you guys about, you know, um, again, you said new look, new team. Um, you guys have been picked to be the favorite. Tell me about the dynamic of this team and the chemistry of this team and what you're looking forward to. Um, you can take so, that. I feel like we all have the pretty much the same values and we come from different backgrounds, but we all understand each other and we're really open to each other. So we're building chemistry right now. It's the first couple of months. And it's going pretty well. It's going faster than I thought. So, good. That's, that's a leader speaking. It's coming from a leader. Go ahead and tell them your name. <laughs> My name is Maya Touré. All right. And Miss Ms. Touré, you're from, is it Atisman? Yes. France. Okay. Well, would, <laughs> would, you, would you freak out if we did this whole interview in, in French? Could you do that with me? <laughs> Comment allez vous <laughs> you know, oh, you didn't think I was ready. I wasn't ready. No, I'm, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I, I took four years of French, but my, my French is very limited. So actually, I, I would that probably be the one. About, was I good? Yeah. Right, I'll take it. <laughs> no, but um, let's talk about your leadership and what you bring. Obviously, your your presence inside. Um, you know, you you definitely um, take control down low. And uh, tell us tell us a, a bit about what you're looking forward to out of your team this year. Um, I really look forward to start playing hard and be able to put together pace and taking care of the ball and being smart at the same time because that's something it's hard to have both and I feel like we're capable we need to start playing and see how it looks and fix a little things but I think we're going to be good okay all right look looking at your profile now you're um, Giannis Antetokounmpo is one of your favorite players. I, I know that you like the Bucks. Tell me a, a little bit about what you take from his game and how you you know um, input into your game and um, what what do you like about about his game and, and about the Bucks? He's just dominant. Uh, Absolutely. He started from from very little. He started late. He started playing at 16, I think. Came from Africa. Didn't really have a lot of things to work. And he made the the most out, out of what he had, and was working hard. And everybody changed physically. He was ready, and then he got here, and he's just hungry. He just plays hard every time, even though he's one of the best. He just plays harder than everybody. So that's a good example. Absolutely, definitely a hard worker, and I see that in you, and I see that in your team. And um, you know, we wish you guys the best. We we thank you for you know coming on here with us and being on Legacy Maker Radio, if you will. Um, we appreciate you guys. We'll be covering you guys, and um, good luck this season. And thanks. Thanks for being on here with us. Thank you so Thank you. much. And uh, go roadie. Go roadie. <laughs>